you hear that? Something is coming. Something hungry for blood. The Demogorgon! Oh. Fireball him! Hi, welcome to another edition of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And that little bit of snippet of cartoon you've just seen is the beginning of a cartoon of Stranger Things, done in the style of Saturday morning animation. Uh, and as part of the sort of the marketing and the push to keep the momentum going for the forthcoming season four, uh, of which we are about six weeks away now. Uh, now, I will put a link to the full animation below in the uh, description. It's about seven or eight minutes long, I think. Um, I will discuss it here, but I can only put a few snippets up on the screen because of copyright. Uh, but the actual article where I discovered this was in AV Club. So we'll actually look at their article and their take on that. Um, we'll do a response and a discussion about it. Uh, and then as I say, I'll put the, uh, the link in the description. You can go and watch the cartoon afterwards. Anyway, I shall put myself down in my usual corner and we'll have a look. So the headline, Stranger Things finds new avenues for nostalgia with Saturday morning cartoon collection. Uh, the video was released ahead of the show's fourth season and features work by multiple animators. The most recent season of Stranger Things was released all the way back in the summer of 2019. Blimey, three years. Doesn't it flown by? Uh, which, at this point, seems like an entirely different era in human history. Yeah, lots happened. Uh, with the fourth season now set to arrive next month, Netflix has found itself needing to both make us care about the show again and to remember what happened in it by any means necessary. Well, I will be uh, re-watching. Um, I'm going to be going back to season one and re-watching um, the first three seasons in their entirety in the run-up um, to season four. So that we can just transgress straight from the end of three straight into four. I haven't missed a beat. Know what's going on. Everything in the garden is rosy. Um, anyway, to do so, it's decided to get a bunch of different animation teams together to show us what the various moments from the show's past would look like if the Hawkins kids were made from ink and paper. Um, well, that's their link on their page, but uh, I'd like to say I'll put the link down below. So, Stranger Morning Cartoons includes six shorts that recreate scenes from the series in animation. Uh, there's a season one recap, Rest in Peace Barb, by Blind Pig, and another clip, another clip showing Hopper and Eleven descending to the laboratory portal in season two by Will Barris and Hush London. Uh, there's also a collaboration between Hush and Claudia Brunelletti that depicts Will shifting dimensions in an arcade from that same season's opening episode. And Hopper by writing a letter to and reliving memories of his time with Eleven by humouring the fates. Uh, this last studio created an earlier homage to Stranger Things in 2019 that reimagined it as an 80s anime series. How cool was that? Our favourites are Bike Chased Animated by Smog and the Ice Cream Shop seen by Pedro Sugarblood Al Alvato. Uh, both lean into the expressiveness of animation with fantastic distinctive art styles. Yeah, I mean, I've looked at some of these. They are excellent. I mean, it it's definitely worth the watching just to give you little snippets, to give you memories, but actually to appreciate them as stand-up works in their own right. They're very creative and they're very entertaining. Um... And they, they do need to be viewed. So, you know, it's it's absolutely worth uh, worth doing, looking at these things. Uh, and as they've, they've actually pointed this out, I was about to say the same thing. Uh, the video doesn't exactly function as a thorough refresher to help viewers catch up on where the show left off almost three years ago, but it does so as a reminder to some of the series' better scenes. Indeed, and that's why I suggest that um, because it's been so long, go back and watch... Um, if you haven't got the time to watch all three series, at least go back and watch series three, um, just to get you back on track as to what's happening, so that you can launch straight into four, sort of totally au fait with the story, so it's there. As a nice side effect, the animated format also helps soften the inevitable weirdness that's about to come when we see the show's kids, those little babies when they last dressed up in 80s cosplay, turned up for the last stretch of the series with full heads of grey hair and crow's feet. At least now our most recent memories of the characters when the new season starts will be age and time defying cartoons. Yeah, I mean the thing is they have all grown up. Um, you, you notice this, you see this because of the various films. Since, since series three of course, uh, Finn Wolfhard has been in It, um, Ghostbusters, 
you know these were these were years apart and so you've actually seen him grow up on screen uh millie bobby brown did that uh, sherlock thing and you know so it's you have seen them growing i mean you've seen them growing within the within the series anyway but now they you know they're almost all adults it's um it's hard to sort of it's getting to the point where it's, just, it's getting hard to suspend belief that they're still kids because they're not but you know you take it as it is and uh it's still entertaining i'm still looking forward to it um but yeah there they are so yeah i'll come back up and we'll round this off Yeah, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to play you a couple of clips. Uh, I'm not going to play a long one, just a couple of snippets, just so you see what they look like. Uh, and then I'll round off properly. Yeah, so there's, uh, there's the first one. I've got another one that I'm going to put on right now. Um, it's a slightly different uh, animation style. Um, but again, it's, it's just nice to see different versions. But like I said, when you see the whole thing, it's all the different styles. So uh, it's all the different takes on how you can do it. Uh, but anyway, here's the next one. So there you go, just a couple of short clips. Um, like I say, that link below will give you the whole thing. It's only about, I think, like I say, it's only about seven minutes long. It's not, it's not a great watch in terms of time, um, but it's interesting. Um, and so yeah, go and enjoy them. Uh, anyway, uh, to, to round this off now, if you like what you're seeing here on this channel, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell for notifications on future output. Leave a like. Leave a comment. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye. <laughs>